Mojo. It's Mojo memorization time again, and in this one we're going to memorize how glucose from photosynthesis is used in plants. There are two things you need to recall, highlighted here on the screen. All the rest of the things are covered in other Mojo moments. So let's get started. Glucose may be converted into cellulose. For glucose, we think glue clothes, clothes covered in glue. And for cellulose, we think silly loaves, daft bread. So here's a way to visualize converting glue clothes into silly loaves. Lay out some glue clothes flat on the floor, roll them up into a tube, and bingo, you have something that looks like a baguette. But baguettes are serious bread. Stick a silly face and a hat on them, and you have silly loaves. So glucose can be rolled into silly loaves, or, as a biologist would say, glucose can be converted into cellulose. And you know already from the plant cell video that cellulose is used for cell walls. Glucose and nitrate ions can be used to produce amino acids, which can be synthesized to form proteins. OK, for this one, you need to think of an old knight in shining armour, helmet and all. This knight has a number eight on his chest and is ironing his tunic. He's very proud of his clothes. Imagine what would happen if you rushed up and added a whole lot of glue to his clothes. Glue clothes, get it? What do you think his reaction would be to glue on his clothes? Angry, of course. He'd turn into a mean old knight. A mean old ass, you could say. Like amino acid. So, knight eight iron and glue clothes turns into a mean old ass. Nitrate ions and glucose turn into amino acids. But who dresses as knights these days? No one seriously dresses like that. In fact, if you look under the helmet, guess what you see? Not an old man, not a young man, not even a teenager. Nope, it's pre-teens. You know, kids. Pre-teens sounds like proteins, doesn't it? So imagine, you think you're being shouted at by a mean old ass lid, but he turns into a preteen. That reminds you that amino acids can be synthesized to form proteins. Right, time to use the images we've just created to fill these gaps. Pause to think, and then restart for the answers. Here are the answers. And that's it for the uses of glucose from photosynthesis. Please, please, please do the quiz in the worksheet below to train your brain. Rewatch this video when we send you a reminder. It makes all the difference. Meanwhile, thanks for using your imagination. <laughs> <laughs>